In this short demonstration, I'll show you two more examples on how to solve first degree equations. This is part two of the series. In question number one, they want us to solve for x. To accomplish this, the first thing that we have to do is multiply this three inwards. Right, let's multiply this three times x and then that three times the two. Three times x is three x and three times two is six. And notice that I'm going to put brackets around the three x plus six. And the reason why is because there is this adjacent bracket that hasn't been multiplied yet. So we have to place this adjacent bracket beside it. And similarly, we have to do the same thing with this three. We multiply this three by this x and by that minus two. And if we do that, we end up with three x minus six in brackets. And then this part, x minus three right beside it. Two x times four and two x times negative three gives us plus 8x minus 6x squared. 2x times minus 3x is minus 6x squared. Now we have to use the distributive law and expand these two binomials. So let's go ahead and do that. 3x times 2 is 6x. 3x times negative x gives us negative 3x squared. Multiply this 6 with that 2 and this 6 with that minus x, and we end up with plus 12, and that gives us minus 6x. That's on the left side. On the right side, we have 3x squared minus 9x minus 6x plus 18 plus 8x minus 6x squared. These two did not change. The next thing that I'll do is collect like terms. Now, there are going to be a lot of like terms here. So starting with the left side, we have, well, that's convenient. This term and this term will cancel out. Let's look on the right side. This term right here is a like with that one. This term is a like with this one and this one. And the 18 stays the way it is. The next step is to bring all the letter terms to one side and all the constants to the other. So what I'll do is take this over to that side and I'll take the plus 18 over to the left side. Then we have 12 minus 18. Notice how this positive 18 became minus. And on the right side, notice that 3x squared minus 6x squared gives us negative 3x squared. And if I bring that over, it becomes positive, positive 3x squared. So we end up with no more x squared terms. So this goes away, this goes away, and that goes away. On the right side, we end up with negative 7x. This simplifies to negative 6 is equal to minus 7x. Therefore, x is equal to negative 6 over negative 7, which gives us 6 over 7. And that's our solution. Moving on to question number 2, we have the following equation. Notice that there are three quotients here. There are three terms with fractions. The first thing that you have to do is find a common denominator. Now, to do that, we're going to take 2, 3, and 1, all three denominators, and multiply them together. If we do that, we end up with 6. And what the 6 will do is get rid of these denominators once we multiply the whole equation by 6. Let me show you what I mean. If I multiply 6 by this term right here, 6 times 4 over 1 is 24. 6 times this term gives us, and remember it's positive, 24, 12 x minus 1 over 3. So what happened was I took this 6 and I multiplied it by this 2 and then left everything the way it was. And then 6 times these two terms gives us 6 bracket 3x minus 5 over 2. Now it's very important to realize that when you're multiplying a number to a numerator that has two or more terms, you need to enclose those terms in brackets. Notice how we enclosed 3x minus 5 in brackets. If you don't, you'll end up with the wrong answer. Now, this 6 and this 2 will divide. And if they divide, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I'm going to replace this 6 and this 2 with simply a 3. Now this 12 and this 3 also divide. So I'm going to erase them out. They divide and it becomes a 4. 
So I'm going to replace that with a 4, and what we have is an equation that looks like this. We have no more fractions, and now it becomes easy to solve. Now I'll expand all of these. By multiplying it all out, I end up with 9x minus 15 is equal to 4x minus 4 plus 24. Bringing all the letter terms to one side and all the constants to the other side, I end up with 9x minus 4x is equal to negative 4 plus 24 plus 15. The left side becomes 5x, and the right side becomes 35. x should equal to 35 over 5, which is 7. So there you have it. Two more examples on how to solve first degree equations. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.